Okay. <laughs> Thankfully, I spam quick save like crazy. It is just an instinct whenever I have games like this. And one thing, one thing that's also nice, um, it looks like you can have at least three backed up quick saves. So that's nice. That's nice. Just because I spam quick save doesn't mean I necessarily have to be screwed. Because it, sometimes it does suck when you uh, when you quick save, and that was your closest save, and it's right around the corner of an enemy. Uh, well, maybe if I, you know, have a quick save a little bit beforehand, that's good too. Although, then again, if I'm someone who spams quick save every like 30 seconds, sometimes it doesn't help me that massively. Still, it's nice to have options. Every game that has quick save should allow quick save to queue. They're very, very tiny in size. And even if they weren't, we live in a day and age where we have terabyte hard drives pretty consistently. Oh boy. Alright. I see some cystoids down there. For some reason, they didn't activate when I threw radiation at them. <laughs> We'll see. We can deal with them, or we can just go completely around. I don't know. Where the hell is this going? Huh. Uh oh. Hostile turret. But why? Holy shit. I mean, this is just continuing from the cargo tunnel, but this is a really big fucking area. Uh-oh. We got a weaver. Ah, shit. I've never fought a weaver. And I think they're pretty much the golden standard of the enemy types. I think I might just be... ...far enough in my Typhon trees that now it considers me an enemy. That's fine. I expected that was going to happen when I grabbed an ability, period. Whoops. Alright, hacking them does put them on my side. Good. <laughs> Good thing that these guys end up being damaged more often than not. Balance in control is key! Alright. So let us... Move these around. If I'm gonna be fighting the Weaver, I want these things to be... Ready and on my side. Okay. Where's the other one? <laughs> Crap. There you are. <laughs> Trying to get myself oriented all around this place. Goddamn zero G. Okay, we split them up a little bit. I don't know the range of fire on these, but uh, it'll be interesting. All right, it's not 30 meters. I can tell you that. Uh-oh. Uh... That's not what I need. <laughs> so, let's try this out. QE break. Release. Deploy. Yeah, that's not... Uh, we have a problem. I'm trying to make this face the enemy. And in zero G, that's a little bit harder or easier said than done. Because it flips as soon as we fucking Scanning stop. Target error. Insufficient type and material found. Standing down. It says strike face, and then it's not the strike face, and then when I put it down, it faces away from me, anyways. Urgh. This is how it came in, it would be nice to have like a placement bar. 
All right. We're just gonna have to make do. I don't know, it, it's gonna like be shooting at the fucking floor or something. Good luck. Or it'll be like rotating and firing at the same time, I don't know. <laughs> Good luck, turret! Same with you! They can't spin 360 degrees, which is gonna save me in the future, but it means this, these are gonna fucking do nothing. All right. These turrets weren't designed for this. Oh, it's actually taking quite a bit of damage. Holy shit, we're melting this thing. Wait, come back! Uh oh. Ah, they're burning me in place! What the fuck? All right, we need, uh, we need some time to think. Oh my god, I freeze time when I hack them? Oh, that's hilarious. I didn't know that. I didn't, also didn't know I could hack them in combat. I thought it was gonna be one of those, like, stealth things, where if you're not stealth, you can't hack them, but now I know better. Boom, operator on my side. Oh, they're attacking each other! It could also be a thing where, uh, I stunned it, so that's how come that worked out. Ah. Okay. I need to fix up my suit. We, uh, we took some damage there. I also stored away some of my suit things, but, uh... At this rate, I might need to grab my ship back. But yeah, no, we melted the Weaver. So I'm pretty happy about that. When I can see my pistol chunk a bit of the health bar away, I'm content. Wait, that's not good. Oh. Running diagnostics, nothing. Ah! Fuck! Shit! Alright. The, uh... The operator... Either shocked me... Or blew up. I don't know what the hell that was about. Right, we got a technopath and I don't know about to do, what to do about that. Hmm. Well? It's being lit on fire and not able to do anything about it. I'm not even gonna fucking go over there. Aww. It's actually losing a pretty hefty chunk of itself from that. Oh, fuck. All right. If I throw a recycler at it, we should be able to have a decent time. But it's also zero G, so that's probably a bad idea. Hey! Here, have the recycler. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, that wasn't so bad. Mostly because it wasn't doing anything. It could have annihilated me. All it had to do was leave its main attack, the electro shit, right on top of me, and I would have been dead. Because there's nowhere for me to go. And it also apparently fucking stuns my Artex propulsion system. So I would have been, like, triple dead. But, uh, hey, I'm totally fine if it's going to suck at fighting me back. And also, now we know, I can hack enemies in combat. Although we still- we're gonna have to test it out. Is it because I stunned them, or is it because our guy is capable of hacking things no matter what? I mean, it does pause time, which is another thing that's great. I didn't know that. Requesting new operator. 
Okay. So, the pistol is my best friend now. Activation required. Cargo stalled inside. All right. Are you ready? Okay, Edward. I'm in position here in cargo bay. Once I execute the cargo processing command on this end, we will have limited time to activate on your side and guts. That should re-establish the cargo transit. Thank you for helping me with this. Next time I promise I will not forget my transcribe. I swear I had it with me this morning. It's like it just grew legs and walked away or something. The instant you ping me, I will trigger this side. Huh. Cargo processing. In the event of malfunction, the cargo processing system requires manual reactivation. The system must be reactivated from both guts and cargo bay within eight minutes. Otherwise, the system must be reactivated. Coming through. So... How does this work? Activate cargo processing. Oh, shit. We have eight minutes to activate the other side! Hold on! Objectives. Uh... Trouble processing. View on map. I'd like to just set it as as the active thing. There. Only marker available is 13 meters away. Wait, what? That's the one I activated, right? Oh no! I have to go way further. I shouldn't spin while doing this. Oh fuck, the cargo bay is a completely different area. Oh no! <laughs> We're gonna have a bad time. All supply shipments entering or leaving Telos 1 must be processed through the cargo bay. So I think that we're gonna, if we, if we do this, we'll be able to go through the guts a lot faster. That's what I'm assuming this is. Or it's just a side mission that will get us an extra bit of cargo or supplies. At the minimum, I think we'll get a reward. But if it can give us a, a faster way to go through guts, that'd be good. All right. So uh, my problem is I didn't know what the hell this was. And now I have eight minutes to go into a completely new area that I've never been in and hope I don't absolutely get murdered. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Cargo processing is beyond here. Woo, boy. How do I get inside? <laughs> it sees me, but it can't do shit about it. What was that? What? Okay, that was bizarre. Normal gravity detected. Where? Because I touched the wall? What is that? Oh, etheric phantom. Oh, hey, here we go. Utilities, activate cargo processing. Nice! I don't know what that did entirely, but we did it. Do I have, I have 40 fucking sodas? What? Oh boy. Hey, buddy! <laughs> I tried to back away before it could do anything to me. I failed. Ow, 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 ow. The fucking effect is gone! But not the residual effect. Ugh. Okay, so let's read my objective, or the complete objective I just had there. 
Uh, I located a cargo processing workstation at the airlock between cargo and guts. There appears to be a lot of cargo trapped in the space between, and the processing system is offline until the system is reactivated in both guts and cargo bay. Once I complete the process, I can open the airlock door in guts and access the cargo. Ah. Alright, so it is just getting cargo from that area. Got you. Uh, no worries, Jas. All set here, far away. Ah, she's still there? I can't wait here too much longer. ZLG really upsets my, has upset my stomach. Uh-oh. I guess this might be Ash, or... She was turned into Ash by him. Ah, uh, that's a dangerous thing for me to do. And we open the box and a mimic comes out! Life support. Whoa, we've never been in life support either. Well, we're getting access to a lot of parts of the ship now. What is going on in here? We got a phantom, and that looks... that's just a normal phantom too. Never mind. We dealt with a fire phantom at some point, and I think that we might be able to get a fire ability. Uh, if we can, I'm gonna grab that really fucking fast. That one's friendly towards me. What? Why is it friendly towards me? Morgan? This is Chief Elazar. Hey. Morgan, cargo bay door's been sealed shut. There's creatures flooding the area. We don't want them getting out. Any more than they already have. We are safe in here for the moment. Do what you can for anyone else still out there, and maybe we can salvage this. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I mean... I can kill the monsters! I don't know how fast they come back. But I can make do. Still, it's nice to hear another friendly voice. Considering that so far the only friendly voice we've had in the entire game was January. And ourselves, technically. But January is ourselves as well. It's a, it's a weird fucking thing. Whoops. That was accidental. Oh. There's a body here. What the fuck happened to you? Annalise Galagos thumb drive. Oh. Excerpt from a readme.txt file found on Annalise Galagos thumb drive. The drive in your possession contains incriminating evidence related to illegal experiments performed aboard Talos 1 in the Psychotronics lab. This includes, but is not limited to, classified internal memorandums, uh, memorandums, key research data spanning several decades, names and roles of all personnel involved, volunteer, uh, volunteer IDs matched with their real names, and this information will be uh, will corroborate the existence of an extraterrestrial species called Typhon, as well as the fact that all neuromods are made at the expense of human victims. I harbor no illusions that this will be easy to believe, but I can testify to its veracity, assuming I am still alive, because I was a participant in many of the experiments referenced. Dr. Annalise Gelagos. Oof. Whistleblower. Can I... like, send that message to Earth or something? Oh. That was a mission. I guess I, I missed the, uh, the beginning portions of it. Was this guy just trying to hide out in here? What the fuck happened? He seemed like he'd be safe. He has toilet paper, food, and stuff. Q, I can't thank you enough for the risk you're taking on my behalf. On behalf of the volunteers who no longer have a voice in this, the thought of you cooped up in that cargo container, hurtling towards the earth, it kills me. Even though Will says it's safe and that you'll have plenty of food, I have the evidence on this thumb drive. Or, I know the evidence on this thumb drive cannot make amends for everything that's happened, but exposing the truth can prevent it from happening again. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, but then he died, anyways. With no real sign? He still had food, we just took a bunch of it. So I don't know what's up with that. Oh well. So, if we look at my... Uh, my... Completed list, here we go. Uh... Whistleblower. Dr. Annalise Galagos was conspiring to get incriminating evidence off the station, but her plan never succeeded. I found her collaborator Quentin Purvis dead in the crate he intended to use to sneak off the station. Okay... That's all? Alright. <laughs> I was hoping it, it would show, like, or reveal details about where I was supposed to find out about this stuff. I mean, we already technically knew about Annalise Galagos because we found her dead body. I think. And or she was a phantom. <laughs> it's already been a day since since uh, well yesterday because that's how time works. 
So I don't fully remember what I've run into and what I haven't. Hmm. So I guess I'm not getting into there. It's just completely locked off. No power available. For now. I still don't know why there's a friendly phantom. You can tell there's a clear difference. That one's like whitish blue. That one's like red in terms of the marker. So why? I don't see any way to get in there at the moment either. Oh well. Let's get out of here. I think I've grabbed everything I can. And it's tempting to go into life support, but I do want to progress. Especially if uh, this area is pretty much unpowered anyways. Not much for me to do here. I need to find a uh, fabrication thing though. We are running low on bullets. We're gonna have a bad, bad time. Oh, you know one thing I can do though, we have a couple of uh, weapon upgrade kits. And we have some spares for me to dismantle, hello. I'm going to upgrade my pistol a little bit more, because I think we can get one more accuracy, yep. And one more range. There. That way I can spam things. I can also upgrade its magazine capacity. It can't get any higher in firepower. But if I can spam a lot of bullets, then we fine. But 15 bullets is a lot already, so I'm not really fretting about it. Alright. Uh... Right, okay. <laughs> I, mean, I was trying to think, I'm like, how'd I get in here in the first place? This maintenance door. I got really worried that, uh, because I had eight minutes, we were gonna have to go, like, on a really, really long adventure. But it was pretty much right around the corner here, so that wasn't that bad. Okay. Heading back to Guts. Microgravity detected. Yep, I'm still in microgravity. That is a true fact. Ooh. Oh. Hello. I see a couple of Psy Hypos. Hmm. Is that it? Because I can just grab them through here. Yeah, I don't see anything else of value. Okay, let's grab them. Remote manipulation! Right through this little hole. Or, I could turn into a mimic. Uh, oh, I can't see them through here? What? Huh. That's weird. Mimic matter. Can I mimic a door? You cannot, in fact, mimic a door. Why does it even give me the option? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess we're just not accessing this because I can't. I can't stick my hand through and turn into a psi hypo, and then open it from the inside. So we're out of luck there. But I'm sure there'll be something that comes along eventually. Hey, engineer. Oh, Jesus. Inspector, your suit suffered some wear and tear. I'll fix that. Ready up, <laughs> I got spooked by the cargo platform flying through here. Alright. So, open cargo door. Aha, down there. So is this basically just going to be a room with a bunch of shit in it? I see. So it did not give me a faster way through here. Yeah, that's alright. I can go pretty darn fast already, right? <laughs> All I have to do is hold down shift and hope I don't ram into anything and die immediately. Although there's not as much in here as I thought there was going to be. At least in terms of just straight up object flying around. Obviously everything that we're looking for is like here. Okay, what do we got? Typhon lure. All right, that's that's one all right item. No wave transmitter. Better. Okay, 
Still haven't used them, but if I ever run into like a super psychic enemy, we gotta watch out for that. Up, oh, three more typhon lures. And a ooh, 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 resistance item? Hold on. Suit chip sets, scope chip sets. Oh. Boost the amount of damage done by electrostatic burst. I don't have that, but if I ever do get it, Coming through. it's nice to know I have that. Uh, what do we got here? Level 2 door. Who needs key codes? I have hacking! We actually haven't really been finding that many key codes. I guess I just made, I made an assumption because we played like something like Deus Ex, Mankind Divided, and then, uh... You go into here, and either I'm just missing a ton of the codes, or they just want me to be able to, you know, actually feel rewarded when I'm hacking into stuff. It's nice when the only way to access an area is... One of the things that we researched. It makes it worth it. And two, level 2 hacking's actually got me through a lot of places. Obviously 3 and 4 would be better. But 2 has allowed me to get through to most doors. Hmm. You know, I wonder. That looks like it has a gravity field on it. If I were to stand on the platform, do you think I could benefit from that? Hold on. Hey, here we go. <laughs> I figured, we killed a weaver, it's gotta have a lot of supplies on it. Actually, there's a lot of shit going on here. Okay. Um... There's another platform incoming. Oh, I fuck- Oh, god, alright. I got knocked away slightly. I guess I'll just wait. And... Oh! Operator approach. Fine, whatever. Touching the little conveyor belt there knocked me back by quite a bit. That <laughs> makes me annoyed. I was gonna line myself up and let the cargo platform kind of... Uh, I, wanted, I wanted it to catch me with its, its gravity field. If it's a possibility. Right, what do we got here? Level 4 hacking. Alright. Wish I could mark this down and be like, ah, there's a level 4 hacking platform here. Okay. No, the conveyor belts! Oh, he's just- there's pretty much- it probably doesn't work out. If they're- if they have such a huge hitbox for the conveyor belt, and it gives you a lot of force to knock you away, there. Then obviously that's- uh, they obviously don't really want you to be there. But, if I remember that I have a braking system, I won't get knocked back as far when this shit happens. Alright, bring it on! Put me on the conveyor belt, so that way I can go backwards towards where we're trying to go to, which is the Arboretum. Oh boy, here we go! Alright, that was disappointing. Fine! We can't use the cargo platform! That would be too convenient. What is this? Shuttle Bay Fuel Storage. Hmm. Low gravity detected. Uh oh. Got a cystoid nest. That works. <laughs> I threw an explosive and, uh. It just straight up blew up. I don't know if it was because of me or. Or what? Hey, little guys! Oh, aren't you guys cute rolling on the ground like that? Can you see me? I'm trying to lure them into the fire. Oh, there's a weapon kit, too. Yeah, I want in there. Unfortunately... Until they're dead, I don't feel comfortable just walking in there and taking a ton of damage. We pissed them off! Oh, look at me! I'm going so fast! Ah, don't you want to come after me? Ah! <laughs> Aha! Okay. 
<laughs> that was incredibly risky of me. But it's working out! Fire is their enemy! There's still a bunch of them though, Jesus. another item over there, so unfortunately I still need to get to them. Hmm. Oi! Oh boy. <laughs> this is working! The cargo blocked the damage for me! Alright. Oh shit! <laughs> there was a survivor hidden behind the toolbox! Little bastard, got me. Alright. Fuel storage. I just saw... an enemy. Oh, there's an engineer out there. What? Oh. Oh, that's a fire phantom. Thermal Phantom. Super Thermal. And then Thermal Resistance. Hmm. Common name, Thermal Phantom. Scientific name, Typhon Anthrophantasmus Psychothermal. It is unclear at this time what prompts a weaver to invest more additional resources, blah, blah, blah. As its name implies, this phantom manipulates thermal radiation. Infrared analysis showed it was able to radiate lethal levels in infrared energy as a defensive measure when threatened. Its most dangerous ability is a spontaneous eruption of superheated plasma from a distance. Range is uncertain due to the small scale of the enclosures. Yeah. So pretty much... Yeah, this, this is repeated between things, but then you have this. It's a thermal one. And it can give me... Super thermal. Create one trap of superheated plasma that deals up to 75 fire damage within 3.5 meters when triggered. Organic enemies will continue to burn for several seconds. Neat. Create two traps of superheated plasma that deal up to 100 fire damage. Oh my god. Organic enemies will continue to burn for several seconds. And then create three traps. 125 damage each within 5.5 meters. These! That's intense. That's actually pretty up there on what, what I care for. Because that, that's something I can put down either in between the enemy and me, as they try to run towards me, or just on the enemy in general. And we saw how much damage fire did to the Techno Typhon thing. Oh hey, we have enough for a phantom shift. That's a tempting thing to have just because being able to like blink away and have a decoy take damage could be good. Or we could just have backlash, because I don't think I'm gonna have too many situations where I have the foresight to just put or to uh, dash away and hope for the best. But a shield I can put on at any time. But I still have all this other shit. No, upgrading stuff. Oh, look. I think that's a fabricator. Well, wouldn't that be great if I could access it? Hmm. Okay. We want to take care of this guy, but we're gonna have to be careful here. Shut up, engineer. I know, it's a dangerous prospect, but I gotta do it. If I take him out, it'll give me free reign of the room and I can explore a little bit more. Even though I don't know where the hell I am. This guy isn't moving. You like that corner? Is that your favorite corner in the entire Citadel? I mean, space station? Because, there you go. He was there for a while. All right, here's what we're gonna do. First off, kinetic blast. Oh shit. Ah, bullets in the face! Oh, 
Okay, I underestimated him a little bit. So... Cannot, uh... Can't use Kinetic Blast on them. It's pointless. <laughs> they don't take the sneak damage that I was hoping they would. But maybe, Superheated Plasma would. Although I don't- I imagine they probably have resistance to fire. Like, you can't get in here, buddy. Just, I don't know, fly home. Go to Earth. See if you can survive re-entry. Good things can happen on Earth. They can give you a home. Not like we- like- not like us here. We're bad people here. Messed with things we shouldn't have. And it's not about God complexes, they're just, um... We're just dumb. <laughs> we took an alien species and hit it. And now we're suffering for it. Okay. Well... This room is fixed up! It has no power, though. Uh, will this do something? Oh. Got me a key to fuel storage. Too bad I don't know exactly where the entrance is. It might be over there, though. 